אחר הצהריים טובים, אורחים נכבדים. אחר הצהריים טובים, אורחים נכבדים. Good afternoon, dear guest. מר דן דוד, פרופסור דני לוייתן, רקטור האוניברסיטה, חתני פרס דן דוד לשנת 2009, גבירותיי ורבותיי. לאור העובדה שחתני פרס דן דוד אינם שולטים בשפה העברית, הטקס ינוהל ברובו בשפה האנגלית. מיסטר דן דוד, פרופסור דני לוייתן, רקטור של תל אביב אוניברסיטי, לורט של 2009 דן דוד פרייס, Ladies and gentlemen, this ceremony consists of two parts, the awarding of scholarship for young researchers and the awarding of prizes for the best essays on the theme of Name Your Hero written by high school students. This year, we have the honor to bestowing an additional award on a deserving scholar. A few years ago, Mr. Dan David established a scholarship to commemorate his late wife, Mia Fisher, who was a very successful businesswoman. This scholarship is awarded annually to a female PhD student at the Leon Recanati Graduate School of Business Administration, Faculty of Management at Tel Aviv University. I now invite Mr. Dan David, founder of the Dan David Prize, to address the audience. words. I married Mia in 1963 and we worked together all over the world. In Italy, in the UK, we created a very successful Japanese company and it was not easy to bring our equipment manufactured in the UK and in Italy to the country of photography, Japan. And every time we went to Uh, discuss the sighting of our equipment, they ask, but these machines are made in Japan? No. The camera is made in Japan? No. So what is made in Japan in your activity? The coins you are introducing into the, into the machine, those are Japanese coins. <laughs> the Japanese finished, uh, it's one of my big challenges. Now we have 7,000 photo booths in Japan and we sold our equipment, our mini labs. And Mia was a big part of the success, like she was a part of the success in the UK, in Italy, in the States, in the other countries. And then in 1978, in a trip from the, between the US and Tokyo, we took a few days of uh, vacation in Cancun. And on the beach, uh, Mia lied down and closed her eyes and didn't open them again. And, uh, This was really, doctors came and tried to do something, it, it was not possible. So, she was such a good management woman, and she gave me so much confidence in the management talent of women, that I wanted to encourage every year a lady from the business management faculty to follow her example. And this year, we have this nice lady here, And I will be glad to hand her over a check and a diploma. Hila Rachamim Engel. Congratulations. Yes, please. Thank you very much. As, uh, tell us a little about what you are doing and uh, how this uh, scholarship will help you in your activity, in your studies. This scholarship allows me to concentrate on my research. This scholarship obviously allows me to concentrate on my research, which is in positive organizational scholarship. Um, and I'm studying character strength, employee well-being, and performance. So it's important, and I really hope you will be successful, and the, the people with whom you will work and for whom you will work will be successful. I hope so. So all my best wishes. Thank you very and much. Now, And now, 
I will disappear from the stage. And those gentlemen who are giving their money and their checks to the young researcher should come here, please. I have nothing to do with what you will do now. Thank you, Mr. David and Ms. Rahamim Engel. I have the pleasure of inviting Rector of Tel Aviv University, Professor Dani Leviathan, and the 2009 Dan David Prize laureates to the stage to take their seats at the head table. Professor Paolo de Bernadis, Professor Andrew Lang, <laughs> Professor Paul Richards, former Prime Minister of Great Britain, Mr. Tony Blair, and Professor Robert Gallo. First, let me thank the laureates of the 2009 Dan David Prize for joining us in this scholarship award ceremony from young researchers. You, the laureates, donate 10% of your prize to support young researchers in their doctoral or postdoctoral training. I will therefore kindly ask you a little later to please award the scholarships to the recipients. I now call upon Professor Danny Leviathan to deliver his address. Mr. Dan David, distinguished 2009 Dan David Prize laureates, recipients of the Young Researchers Scholarships, proud family members, colleagues, dear guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is a great honor for me to take part in this ceremony and it is a great pleasure to see these young, promising men and women who are early in their scientific career but have already accomplished so much to be deserving of this prestigious award. To pick up from President Paris yesterday, the scientists are taking the lid off our eyes. I apologize if somebody will not understand what I say now. It's a little mathematics, but very short. I remember as a first year student of mathematics, one of my professors asked rhetorically, and before men knew what a derivative was, the derivative of the exponential function e to the x was not e to the x. <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> yeah, that's uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So... <laughs> It is not surprising that scientists discover facts, uncover facts, not invent them. Right? That's important. I wish a young recipients that they will go on to discover new facts for the benefit of mankind. And to Dan, who has just turned 80, I wish long and continued work on his beloved project that benefit us all. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Professor Leviathan. Before we invite the scholarship recipients to receive their certificates, let me tell you briefly about the procedure according to which the scholarship recipients are selected. An academic committee was appointed by the rector of Tel Aviv University. This committee was headed by the vice rector, Professor Aaron Shai, and was composed of Professor Isaac Witz, the scientific advisor of the Dan David Prize, and senior faculty members who are experts in the specific fields of the Dan David Prize for the given year. Scholastic excellence is always the major criterion for selection. Scholarships are awarded to young researchers from Tel Aviv University and from other universities in Israel and abroad. This year marked a record in the number of applications received. 
The committee members worked extremely hard to select the most worthy candidates. We will now commence with the awarding of the scholarships. It has become a tradition that the Dan David Prize laureates award the scholarships in their respective fields. I will first call upon Professor De Bernardis, Professor Lang, and Professor Richards to award the scholarship to the young researchers for the pastime dimension in the field of astrophysics, history of the universe. I will now call the scholarship recipients. Asaf Khoresh, Department of Astronomy and Astrophysics, Tel Aviv University. Doron Lemze, Department of Astronomy and Astrophysics, Tel Aviv University. Thank you very much, Professor Bernadis. Professor Lang will award the scholarship to Smadar Naoz, Department of Astronomy and Astrophysics, Tel Aviv University. Hagai Peretz, Benozio Center for Astrophysics, Weizmann Institute of Science, Rehobot. Thank you, Professor Lang. Professor Richard will award the scholarship to Benny Trachtenbrot, Department of Astronomy and Astrophysics, Tel Aviv University. <laughs> scholarship in this category have also been awarded to Daniel Green, Department of Astronomy, California Institute of Technology, USA. Michael Myers, Department of Physics, University of California, Berkeley, USA. And we are now proceed to the award of scholarship for the present time dimension of the 2009 Dan David Prize in the field of leadership. I would like to ask former Prime Minister of Great Britain, Mr. Tony Blair, to please award the scholarship to Gadi Bialik. Hi. Chaim and John Constantiner School of Education, Tel Aviv University. Ori Goldberg, Department of History and Political Sciences, Tel Aviv University. Alon Lisak, Faculty of Industrial Engineering and Management, Technion Haifa. Galia Schneebaum, Faculty of Law. Aviv University. Thank you, Mr. Blair. Scholarships in this category have also been awarded to 
Vanessa del Socorro Chocano Beyoda, Faculty of Law, University of Vienna, Austria, and to Anjesh Prasad, School of Business, York University, Canada. I now request Professor Gallo to please award the scholarship to young researcher for the future time dimension in the field of global public health. Professor Gallo will award the scholarships to Azita Levit, Department of, <laughs> Department of Clinical Microbiology and Immunology, Tel Aviv University. Yaal Lester, Faculty of Engineering, Tel Aviv University. Kitam Wesen, Department of Epidemiology and Preventive Medicine, Tel Aviv University. <laughs> and Anna Reutbord Bergman, Department of Cell Research and Immunology, Tel Aviv University. Scholarships in this category have also been awarded to Brandon Brown, Department of International Health, Johns Hopkins School of Public Health, Maryland, USA, Beach Tram Yoon, Department of Mother and Child Health in Tropical Areas, University of Pierre and Marie Curie, Paris, France, Danielle Roth, Department of International Health, Johns Hopkins School of Public Health, Maryland, USA, and Boniface Yushi, Department of Sociology, Ibadan University, Nigeria. Thank you very much. I wish to kindly request Ms. Galia Schneebaum of the Faculty of Law in Tel Aviv University to address the audience on behalf of all the scholarship recipients. Minister of Education, Mr. Guidon Saar, Mr. Dan David, Professor Daniel Viettan, Rector of the University, Dan David Laureates, distinguished guests. When speaking of leadership and democracy, one immediately has in mind big campaigns, crowded assemblies, agendas taking a stance in all important matters, state leaders delivering ardent speeches. However, modern democratic societies contain other forms of leadership which are much more common than state leadership. And perhaps because they are so common, we tend to overlook them and to lose sight of just how persistent they are in our lives. High school teachers, university professors, bosses in the workplace, medical doctors, religious guiders, are all authority figures, setting models for others to follow and exercise authority and power in their interactions with students, employees, patients, and religious followers. Being party to an authority relation in modern times is more puzzling than meets the eye. One of the reasons why this is so 
is that a constant gap exists between a certain image we hold in our minds as to this relationship and the experience we actually go through whenever we take part in such encounters. As moderns, as liberals, as democrats, we would like to think of ourselves as equals to every other member of society. This image of modern life pervades broad aspects of our lives, and we strongly believe in it. Thus, as patients, we tend to think that even though the doctor who treats us exceeds us in knowledge and expertise, then as a person, he is as human as the next guy. As students, we think of the professor, that even though she possesses a great deal of knowledge and has the power to grade our assignments, then as a human being, she is no better nor worse than any other member of society. We have similar attitude towards our boss in the workplace. As for him, too, we keep telling ourselves that even though he may well be high up in the organizational scale and may possess an official authority to direct and guide our work, then as a person, he is really no different than anybody else. But to anyone who has been party to such relationships, the above-mentioned democratic and enlightened description leaves something important out. With respect to a whole class of authority figures, we feel that we are not really equal to them. And in our interactions with them, as patients, employees, students, and religious followers, we tend to treat them with a peculiar kind of deference and respect. We thus not only trust their judgment, but sometimes tend to lose our own judgment in the process. We thus not only listen to their advice or follow their footsteps, but tend to accept uncritically their opinions, and in extreme cases, even cooperate or agree to do things we would have otherwise refused to do. This reality raises hard questions and serious dilemmas that have to do with the potential for abuse that exists in modern relations of authority. Alongside the great promise that is embedded in institutions of leadership and authority, they also carry a substantial risk, namely, that the tendency to follow a leader, to treat him with too much deference and respect, will be abused, and those who are subordinated to the authority figure might be seriously offended. My own academic research deals with some of the ethical and legal questions that are evoked by the problem of abuse of authority. Of course, these are not only academic questions. They are discussed in non-academic forums, such as the media, legislative bodies, judicial forums, and also in casual political gatherings and in lay conversations. And there are no simple answer answers or quick solutions to the hard questions that abuse of authority summons. While the popular deliberation of abuse of authority made important contributions to the way we, as a society, understand and confront this complex issue, the academic inquiry carry, carries with it unique advantages. Academic research can take time, thus enabling depth. Academic research does not need to have high ratings, thus enabling innovation and unconventional perspective. And perhaps closest to my heart, academic research affords for questioning whatever appears to be unquestionable and for casting doubt on whatever presents itself as beyond doubt. Reflecting on the importance of doubt, Yehuda Michai wrote, from the place where we are right, flowers will never grow in the spring. The place where we are right is hard and trampled like a yard. But doubts and loves dig up the world like a mole, a plow. And a whisper will be heard in the place where the ruined house once stood. For the privilege of time, of depth and innovation, for the privilege of casting doubt, in hope of growing some beautiful flowers, we, the scholarship recipients, are grateful to the Dan David, to the Dan David Prize Foundation. Thank you on behalf of all of us.
Thank you, Professor Leviathan and the Dan David Prize Laureates. May I ask you to kindly return to your seats in the audience? I'd like to thank the 2009 Dan David Price Scholars recipients and wish you all much success in your research endeavors. We will open the second part of the ceremony with a little night music by Mozart and an Israeli song played by the Gertler String Quartet of the Buchmann Meta School of Music from Tel Aviv University. Please.
I invite Mr. Dan David, Mrs. David, Dr. Da, uh, Dr. Aviv Segal, and unfortunately, um, the Minister of Education, Mr. Gidon Saar, uh, could not be here with us today. Professor Dina Tirosh, may I ask also, I ask you also to come to the stage? Thank you. <laughs> A few words only. Okay. It will be Gabi who will address you. A few words in Hebrew and in English. She is a little closer to your age than I am, but I feel very close to you, not age-wise, but heart-wise. And I well remember when I was a high school student and I wrote many essays and I had only moral recompenses. I never got a prize for my essays. The most, the most beautiful prize was when the director of our high school took my essay of 73 pages and went to show it to the higher class. That was my satisfaction. Now, Gabi, please address these young people. לכולכם, מחברי החיבורים, התחברנו ונתחבר. אני עוד לא זכיתי לזכות את שכתבתם, אך האחרים שאנחנו סומכים עליהם, הם קראו וזיכו אתכם. מצידנו, ברכותינו החמות, אנחנו גאים עבורכם ומאחלים לכם להמשיך בדרך זו. הנכם דור ההמשך. העתיד שלנו, ואולי תזכו בעתיד באותן מלגות שניתנו באירוע זה, ומי יודע, כאשר תהיו בשלים וגדולים, תזכו בפרס עצמו. כל אחד בתחומו, ותדעו להאיר את עינינו בנושא העבר, ההווה והעתיד. 
אשר עליו עומד הנדבך המרכזי של פרס דן דוד, ובאם תותירו לי מילה אישית. דן, בא לי. אני גאה ביצירתך, ביוזמתך ובעבודתך הקשה שאתה משקיע בכל הנפלא והטוב שהינו התוצר הסופי כאן, במיוחד לדור הצעיר שנוכח כאן. לכל אחד מכם, ביחד ובנפרד, אנחנו מאחלים לכם בהצלחה בהווה ולעתידכם, ולעתידכם אנחנו מלווים אתכם בחיבוק אחד גדול. I should try to translate literally what I said for those who didn't learn in the last 24 hours some Hebrew. The first sentence, it's impossible because it's a game of wording. So I'll continue. Just one. I haven't read the essays of all these marvelous young people who wrote what they wrote, but there's a committee, we rely on that committee, and we're sure they choose the best, and I'm very happy for them. I gave them my warm congratulations, and I told them that I'm very proud and wish they would continue in this manner. This is the generation to go ahead. This is our future. And I wish maybe in the longer future they will get maybe the scholarship that those others won this evening. And maybe when they'll get bigger and riper, they'll get the prize. Everyone in his field, anyone in his talents and capacity, and they will open our eyes in the subject based on the past, the present, the future, on which is the major pillar of the Dan David Price. And I permitted myself also a very personal comment to Dan. <laughs> I'm, I'm proud with what you're doing. Your initiatives, your hard work, whatever you're doing and in investing, and the end result. What we every year having is a very special experience. And a special experience for me is this younger generation. And for each one of them, separately and together, I'm wishing you good luck. And right now, at the present, And for the future, I am escorting you with a warm hug. Good luck. What are you doing? I don't know. I go to the second row. No, you don't have to. You can sit next to me. מר דן דוד, גברת דוד, פרופסור דינה תירוש, יושבת ראש הוועדה האקדמית של היחידה לנוער שוחר מדע, גברת שירה שופטי, מנהלת היחידה לנוער שוחר מדע, תלמידים יקרים. אני מתכבדת לפתוח בזאת את טקס הענקת הפרסים לתלמידים שזכו בתחרות נאם יור הירו לשנת 2009. Mr. Dan David inaugurated the Name Your Hero competition for high school students five years ago. This, com this program is a joint venture of the Dan David Prize, the Unit for Science-Oriented Youth at Tel Aviv University, and the Ministry of Education of the State of Israel. The students are invited to submit an essay presenting their ideas for candidates, their heroes, for the Dan David Prize. This year we received about 1,000 essays from students in the 9th to 12th grades. 50 students who presented the most creative and, uh, and innovative ideas were invited to attend a one-day workshop at the university. 
In the framework of the workshop, a lecture was given by Dr. Eli Lehar of, of the School of Mathematics on his research. The students were also instructed as, how, uh, as to how to optimize the delivery of their ideas in an essay of this kind. It is interesting to note that this year, a large proportion of the essays dealt with social and, humita and humita humanitarian topics. Out of the essays received, a review committee selected 25 prize winners. First prize winner, first prize is 10,000 shekels each, and second prize is 5,000 shekels each. This year, we also awarded a third prize in the amount of 2,500 shekels each. The citation, uh, and citations to three students. The ideas conveyed in the winning essays are presented to the Dan David Prize Board members for their consideration. The school that excelled in promoting the competition and encouraging participation in it is awarded 20,000 shekels. This sum is earmarked for specifically approved, approved educational programs. I now have the pleasure um, to invite uh, Dr. Uh, Aviv Segal, academic coordinator of the Unit for Science Oriented Youth, who is active in the Name Your Hero competition. Thank you. Welcome to all our honorable guests. We have here today a very special audience. Professor Tzvi Galil, President of Tel Aviv University. Professor Dani Livyatan, Rector of Tel Aviv University. The 2009 Dan David Prize Laureate. And a special thanks to Mr. Tony Blair, who captured our heart yesterday at the roundtable event with students, high school students, from the Unit for Science Oriented Youth. Mr. Dan David. Mrs. Gabi David, Mr. Ayel David, members of Tel Aviv University, Board of Governors, young researchers, principals, teachers, parents, and of course, the Unit for Science Oriented Youth High School students who are receiving today a prize for, winning, for writing an original essay in the Dan David Prize High School Essay Competition, Name Your Hero. Dear guests, this year, it was very difficult to choose the winning essays. We asked high school students to write, uh, from all over the country, to write essays about who is their hero. Who do they think deserves to win the Dan David Prize if they were sitting in the selecting committee? We received the largest amount of, es of essays, about 1,000 essays from schools from all over Israel, and from all sectors of the Israeli society, Jews, Arabs, secular, religious, immigrants, etc. The essay topics varied from medicine, technology, and ecology, to education, social movement, and politics. The 2009 essay winners come from 20 different schools. Among the audience, we have a significant representation from five schools. Ort Binyamina, Eldad Natanya, Hakfar Ayarok, it's called Experimental Village for, Experimental Village for Exper Environmental Leadership, that's the Kfar Ayarok, Ironi uh, Zain Jaffa, and Mekif Zain from Ashdod. Uh, the winners' essay topics are very different from each other in many ways, but in a closer look, one can find a common motif of social responsibility, like in Meital Gilbert's essay on Acharai, an organization for youth leading change, and Natalia Aroni's essay on promoting awareness of dem democracy. The essays are a true testimony for the depth of these students 
and on significant learning on their part, like the essay by Shiran Ashkenazi on Olymp de Joz and Dan Eshed's essay on Voice of the Skeptic. And these are just a few examples. The young generation proves to us that they are seeking values and that they understand that with effort and hard work, they can um overcome difficulties they face. Like Moshe Neyazov's uh, essay on Baza Nababa, a blind distance runner, Yuval Katz's essay on Elvin Ailey's American Dance Theater, and Noah Dror's essay on the invention of the life straw. Sandra Nasrallah, in her essay on Chaim Escalante, a teacher and a role model, writes it very nicely, and I quote, and I translate, the, the essays were in Hebrew. In order to be a good student, you don't have to be rich and to study in a private school, but you have to have someone that trusts in you that you will succeed and also hard work. We are very happy to be part of this endeavor and grateful to Dan David for the opportunity to meet these youngsters and to go through a significant educational process with them. Thank you very much. מחדרי חיבורים אלה וכן נציגת בית הספר הכפר הירוק, כפר הנוער הניסוי למנהיגות סביבתית, יוזמנו אותה לקבל את התעודה ואת הפרס. אני מזמינה את פרופסור דינה תירוש ואת מר דן דוד לחלק את הפרסים. I invite Professor Dina Tirosh and Mrs. Dan David and Mrs. Gabi David to award the prizes. And now to the essay competition winners. I will announce the recipient's name first and then the title of the essay. Pras Rishon, first prize, Dan Eshed. <laughs> Voice of the skeptic, Michael Shermer, historian. מקיף זין, הקריה אשדוד. יובל כץ, אורט השומרון בנימינה, אלווין איילי, אמריקן דאנס פיטר. ליהי עזרא, תיכון אורט אקור דרסקי, סאונד את הסורס אוף אלקטריסיטי, פרופסור תהיר קג'ין. סקנד פרייז, פרס שני, נטלי אהרוני. אורט משה שרת, נצרת עילית, קרל גרשמן, Promoting Awareness of Democracy. מיטל גלבורט, אלדד נתניה, עמותת אחריי. אחריי, Society for Youth Leading Change. נועה דרור, תיכון אזורי מגידו, The Straw that Broke the Bacterium's Back, דוקטור משה פרומר, The Inventor of Life Straw. שון מליקי, הכפר הירוק, The Vertical Farm, פרופסור דיקסון דה פומייה, עדן רידי, דנציגר קריית שמונה, 
Hayao Miyazaki, Japanese animator. Pras Lishi, third prize. Shiran Ashkenazi, Beta Sefer Ironi Zain Tel Aviv Yafo, Olim de Joz, Movement for Women in Israel. Chen Hirsch, Amal Nari Echad Nariya, Museon, Sugihara and the Humanity Hill. Jindo no Oka. Okay. <laughs> it's so difficult for me, yes. Japanese. Amit Weisel, Tichon Echadam, Petach Tikva. Use of stem cells for saving life, medicine of your future. Ze Amit Weisel. Weisel, Weisel, I don't know. It's right. Project Gutenberg, a free computerized library for all on the web. <laughs> Yonatan Khalatnik, Khativat Abenaim Leo Beck, Leo Beck Educational Center, based on the theories and values of Dr. Leo Beck. Mas'ed Cohen, Ulpanat Bnei Akiva Netivot, Bemagalei Tzedek Society for Social Justice. In Bar Levi, Lady Davis, Tel Aviv, Simchat Halev, Medical Clowns of Israel. In Bal Mualem, Tichon Glilik for Saba, Elwin Ailey, Integrating the Disabled into society. Sandra Nasrallah, Beta Sefer Ironizai in Tel Aviv, Yafo. Jaime, excellent teacher. Naor Porat, Beta Sefer, Naor Porat, Beta Sefer Leteva, Sviva Vachevra, Professor Yaakov Beckenstein, Physist. Yuval Finkelstein, Eldad Natanya. Muhammad Lonos, founder of the Garamen Bank, providing microcredit. Liri Yoel Finkovich, Veneta Rothstein. Professor Ruben Nakfar Ayarok. Professor Ruben Feuerstein, founder of the International Center for the Investment of Learning. Tsiyun Lashevach, citation to Yarden Ben Chorin, Or Tashamron Binyamina, Dr. Daniel Kaftori and Professor Avi Tribus, development of a system for utilizing solar power. 
עופר יעקב זאדה, אור טכניקום גבעתיים, עיינות יוס ביליג' פור דארפור רפיוג'יס. אמנון כהן כפרי, אור תשומרון בנימינה, פרט רוזנברג ארכיטקט, אגריקלטור אינבנטור אנד סושיאל אקטיביסט. משה ניאזוב עשר און בזה נבאבה, The Blind Distant Runner גברת דייזי בר אילן, מנהלת בית הספר הכפר הירוק, כפר הנוער הנישואי למנהיגות סביבתית. אני רואה שאתה לא גברת. You are not Daisy, absolutely. How many essays did you say? About 30 essays. Very nice. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Dan David, Mrs. Gabi David. And thank Mrs. Madar Fisher, director of the prize. You thank everybody. Somebody has to thank you. Yes, ah, I want, I, I want them to take a picture with the children. With the children. So the no, we did it, we did it. No, but today, no, they want all of them. Ah, okay. So. I wish the Name Your Hero essay competition winners much success in their future studies. I thank the family and friends as well as all our guests for celebrating this important event with us. Good evening to you all. Now for the picture. Yes. Can we ask, please, the Dan David Prize Laureates to join the picture? <laughs> 